14, coffee with the attorney general candidates continues this morning. I sat down with Susan Happ, the Democrat in the race. We shared that conversation yesterday. Today we hear from Brad Schimmel, the Republican candidate. During the campaign, he has acknowledged his own drunk driving case from 1990. He said that he made a mistake and pointed to his effort to fight drunk driving as a prosecutor. I talked with him about the state's current drunk driving law. We've got a few, few things that I think are glaring problems in the law. First off, under Wisconsin law, if you can go 10 years after getting one, you, get, you go back to a first offense again. We, you know, we've got the separate debate about whether first offense should be a crime or not, but it shouldn't be civil twice. I mean, if you, you get one of those, you don't get a second chance. We need to change that, get rid of that 10-year loophole. You know, at fourth offense, I just don't know how anybody can, can get three and claim when they come back for number four that they didn't, they didn't see bigger trouble coming. I think fourth, all fourth offenses should be a felony. We've got right now also a five-year loophole for that, where if you can go five years after your, after your third, before you get the fourth one, you're, you're, at, you're still at a misdemeanor. We, we should change that. That should be fourth offense a felony. When we get to fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, all those offenses, we now have people who are just either not able to control their addiction. And you know, addiction is an illness. It's a disease. Getting behind the wheel is not. You don't, you don't have to, because you're addicted to alcohol, you do not have to get behind the wheel drunk. And boy, when you get to fifth and a greater offense, I think the consequences need to be higher.